All right, so I've had something a little unfortunate happen. Recently, I had this $150 72 volt motor completely lock up on me. So we're gonna go ahead and take a few screws out, open it up, and see what happened. The normal controller that came with it apparently must have put too much power into it because the shaft is completely stuck. There is nothing I can do to move it. No amount of force on the shaft will move it. So I consider it to be a dud, but sadly the Chinese seller I ordered it from will do nothing to compensate me. So we're gonna crack it open and see what's inside and try to make some use of it. Pretty hard to do this one-handed, so give me a second. All right, let's take a look inside of here. So I could've gotta crack this guy off now. So there's the back cover of this motor. Very interesting. Let's see what's inside of here. Okay. Now I know very little about electric motors personally, but I can see that we have the coils inside. They might be induction coils, I'm not quite sure. And we have our shaft here that's been causing us so many issues. So the bearing, there's a bearing kind of glued onto it. And yeah, that shaft is just stuck. It will not move. But yeah, you can see the copper coils in the inside of this motor. Well, let's see if we can pull anything else out real quick. Alright, so you may have seen in that last portion of the time lapse that I was able to also get the front cover off, which reveals a shaft. Now, the shaft is still completely solid, frozen in there. So, we're going to have to take a few more looks inside just to see what's up. But, again, you can see more coils. So, the way a three phase motor works is by shooting in pure understandable English, um, shoots electrical currents through these coils, which causes a magnetic field to spin this shaft. And of course, with a three-phase motor, there's a little more, there's a bit more computing involved on the controller side to spin the motor, um, especially with RPMs, it's a little more accurate. Um, it's definitely different than a DC motor. Um, just in a few simple senses, but it definitely looks super cool inside. I'm actually taking a couple pictures just in case I need it for the thumbnail of this video. Let's see if I can get anything else out of here, and we'll try to look at the shaft a bit more. This is a brushed motor, just so you know. It's a little different than, say, a brushless, obviously. All right, so I think I found the main culprit of our shaft locking up. So if you look inside of here, you can kind of see that there's a magnet that circles around this entire area in the center of the shaft. And 
the magnet is actually shattered here and here. It did go all the way around. And this whole thing, at least earlier, it moved a little bit. Yeah, just like that. It's moving around inside the motor. So that's horrible. I don't know what caused it. This was a seller on AliExpress, and I cannot get a refund for this, which really, really sucks. But at least you guys get to see what's inside of one of these. And we'll see if we can uh, pull this out and try to do something in regards to uh, salvaging all the components in here, because this is a lot of valuable metal, bearings, etc. I can use this casing for something else. There's even a possibility I could repair this, even though I'm not super experienced with motors yet. All right, so this is really interesting. I'm trying to get the main, this main cylinder out, and I have mostly gotten it out. The problem is the magnets are so strong, it was being pulled back inside, but we just got it out, you guys, and oh my god, these are strong. Goodness, okay. These are some serious magnets, you guys. So this is the center shaft, and I'm just going to drop this. You can see it just, metal just instantly flies to it. Definitely stupid strong. Oh my gosh, like everything, everything on my bench, of course not aluminum, but a lot of things are sticking to this. So a magnet like this definitely is useful for some things, but we're gonna try to keep it away these metal parts just for now so I can definitely tell why this thing exploded because well not explode sorry it, it locked up but you can see that the magnets here the Chinese magnets just kind of shattered it's such a shame I can't get a refund but yeah if you like getting to see what's inside of one of these this thing cost me a lot of money so you should uh, like this video just so I can try to get some views and hopefully the ads can help pay for a new motor because I was going to use this for a super fast electric moped and now I'm considering whether or not I'm still going to be able to. Uh, let's see possibly we can get these coils out. I'll do my best but this may be the end of the video. We'll see. So the coils are actually glued inside and you can see I'll just try to point the light in the right direction you can see that there are some magnets on the inside of this that are probably just as serious as these guys. Now, this thing is absolutely insane. It's just picking stuff up. So I might get to salvage these magnets and do something useful with it. It's definitely very cool since I was little. I've always taken apart broken technology to see what was inside. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see a lot of cool projects involving motors and electric motors, you should subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of things with batteries. I even um, am working on something similar to a Spider-Man suit right now that winches me up walls. So feel free to check that out, and thank you for watching.